Hey lovelies, what's up? I'm a slacker. I know. You guys can yell at me in the comments. Totally okay with that. I figured since I haven't posted a video in a while, I would start with the recent favorites. I skipped February and March favorites and like, what is it? The 10th, the 11th of April now? So this is gonna be a recent favorites and I'm gonna start with makeup. I don't have a lot of makeup because I have been wearing basically the same thing every day and it's the same stuff I've been wearing for ages. But I started using these Maybelline Baby Lips. I use this one which is quenched every day. This one I have on right now, this is Peach Kiss. This is Cherry Me. And this one's Pink Punch. This is actually the first one I bought a while ago. I don't really wear the colors that often. But they do have quite a nice color payoff. I have quite a few new body things this month, like skincare, body care things. I found a new scent from Bath & Body Works that I like. It's crazy. I know. Crazy. Whoa. Sam found something new. But. This new scent. It's called Beautiful Day. Apparently it's not really all that new. They've had it for a year or so. That's what the lady at Bath & Body Works told me. But it smells amazing. The main scent in it is Sunkissed Apple. And Apple is one of my favorite smells ever. Sunkissed Apple. Sparkling Cassis? Cassie? I don't know how you say that. Wild Daisies and Fresh Pink Peony and Creamy Musk. I don't know what it is. I could eat this stuff up. I bought like six bottles of it when they had the buy three get three free sale on. So amazing. You guys should definitely go take a sniff. If you haven't noticed, I'm super pasty. Super pasty. I try and lay out and I burn and I never tan. It just goes away. So I got some fake tan. This one's my favorite that I've tried so far. I got it at TJ Maxx on clearance for $3. Om Shea Aromatherapy. I don't know. I looked it up to try and order some more at some Australian brand. It's actually really hard to find here. This one's my favorite so far. Pretty even coat. Lasted for a while. Really actually like pretty brown color. This one went on kind of crap. Really streaky. But the color was nice. I have another one as well. L'Oreal something or other. It wasn't very nice. I had splotches everywhere. It was more orange than brown. I don't approve. I definitely want to invest in more of this stuff if I can get it here. Last skincare body care thing is this facial sleeping mask. Honeydew and chamomile. It smells nice. It feels nice. You just put it on before you go to bed and you rinse it off when you wake up and it's supposed to super hydrate your skin and smooth it out. And I definitely feel the hydration. My skin feels amazing in the morning and these things are only like buck fifty at Walmart and there's so many uses in these little packs. You, you need the smallest amount because this stuff goes a long way. Definitely check them out. You guys know I dye my hair a lot because I mentioned it a lot and I found this new amazing hair stuff. I think the brand's called Fekai, F-E-K-K-A-I. I don't know, but I found this, well I got this little sample in my birch box. I think I've talked about this before. It's amazing, it makes my hair feel so soft. So then I got the shampoo and conditioner and the actual one as well. Glossing olive oil shampoo and conditioner. Got a little set at TJ Maxx, $14.99 for all three. I got a bigger one of these as well with it. These things make my hair feel so good. The full size bottles are expensive, but I think I'm gonna invest in them because my hair feels amazing, it's shiny and soft, and I don't think I've ever found anything that I like as much as these for my hair. TV shows this month, Vampire Diaries, super digging it. What happened with Catherine? Like, why are there more doppelgangers in the picture? I don't even, I don't know. But I love Nina Dobrev, Dobrev, I don't know how you say her last name. She's gorgeous. Stefan is gorgeous. Damon's pretty hot. There's just so much attractiveness on the show that I can't handle it sometimes. Also, me and my lady bro rewatched. Well, she watched for the first time. I rewatched all of Skins, series one through six, the UK Skins. I love those as well. I really like Generation One and Generation Three. Three and four are nice. I love Effie, poor Freddy. I just love Skins. I love British things in general. Also, Lady Bro and I have been watching Doctor Who because she had never seen it before, and of course, I gotta spread the Doctor Who love. She's digging it so far, and I love rewatching it. So. Thumbs up for that.
for music this month, I have been digging, or for music these past few months anyway, I've been digging A Day to Remember a lot. I used to like them when I was younger, kind of grew out of them, really getting back into them. I need those breakdowns in my life. I really want to see them live as soon as possible. For movies these past few months, my best friend and I have kind of been watching like classics, you would say, I guess. Not too old classics, but like Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal, I had never seen them and I like them and thriller movies scare the crap out of me. Way more than like horror movies do because serial killers actually exist, people are creepy, I don't approve, but I really like the movies. Anthony Hopkins is so scary as Hannibal. As far as movies I've seen in theaters, I saw That Awkward Moment, which cracked me up. It had me laughing so hard. Cocktail! Let me know in the comments if you know what I mean by that. And Divergent, of course, came out. Can we just take a minute to look at Theo and to look at Ansel? Just, just look at the perfection in these two guys. I'm so excited to see Ansel and The Fault in Our Stars as well. I cannot contain my excitement for that movie. I'm gonna cry so much. But anyway, Divergent. The movie was amazing. It was amazing. I love Tris. Shailene Woodley's gorgeous. I just... But look at Theo and Ansel. Just look at them. If there's no other reason to watch that movie, just watch it for the eye candy, okay? For books this month, I read The Clockwork series, well, The Infernal Devices series, also by Cassandra Clare. I love The Mortal Instruments. I'm so excited for book six. I read a spoiler somewhere that Jim from these books is also in The Mortal Instruments somewhere and he's been there all along and I, mind blown, I don't know who Jim is supposed to be. Excited to figure that out when the sixth books come, when the sixth book comes out in May. These were really good. I actually think I might like them better than The Mortal Instruments. I read them all the way through and then read them all the way through again. That's how much I liked them, like, back to back. Definitely check them out if you like shadow hunters and stuff like that. This month I also read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City, the second book in the series. I saw the second one at the store and was like, oh, that looks really interesting. So I got the first one and read it and I love it. And they're really creepy and weird and there are pictures, so people that complain that they don't read books without pictures, here you go. Got lots of pictures in these books. I'm excited for the third one. I thought this was going to be the last one. And then I read the end and I was like, what? What? I have to wait probably another year or so for this next one? That's not cool, but it's totally good. Worth the read. You should totally check them out. My favorite YouTuber this month has been Sprinkle of Glitter. Can we also just take a minute to look at how gorgeous she looks? She has been doing Glitter Gets Fitter, walking every day and trying to get healthier, and she has inspired me to get healthier. This yellow skirt with a crop top, she's gorgeous. I wish I were brave enough to wear a crop top. I have been working out and trying to eat healthier again, drop this weight that I want to drop. I'm working on it, I'm working on it, you guys hold me to it. Speaking of working out, I have been using Daily Burn. I approve so far, I'm just doing the True Beginner course. I've done like a week or so of it. I signed up for it a month ago, did a day, really liked it, got lazy, signed up for it again, well, started doing it again last week or so. I actually did three days in one day because I like it that much. I think I might be slightly addicted to working out. It's probably a good addiction, but still kind of scary. I've also been running and doing some blog videos and Cassie kicks my butt all the time. I can't keep up with her. Working on that as well though. More random favorites. I really like Snapchat this month. I've been digging, snapping back and forth with my friends. You guys should totally add me on Snapchat if you want. Sam Like Woe says. I'm just Sam Like Woe says on about everything. You should totally add me on everything. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever you want to add me on. Sam Like Woe says. Check it out. Anyway guys, I think that's all for my recent favorites. Sorry for not posting. Again, I'm a slacker. I'm working on it. I need to just sit down and film a lot at one time and then edit them throughout the month and upload them. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me know what you guys want to see from me and I would love for you to like, subscribe, comment, all the normal YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.